everybody! It's Landon! And I'm just waking up in the middle of nowhere! As you might ever, this is a Let's Play of Don't Starve! Now, so you guys know, this is happening during the Don't Starve Together beta. But I am not a part of that beta, so I will not be able to Let's Play it until the full version comes out. At which point I will get my free upgrade, and I will be happy! But since, you know, since I like the idea of the beta and I like the idea of multiplayer don't starve, I want to get myself in, you know, in the groove. And that means playing this game. And I figure I might as well take you guys along. Yeah, it looks like we're in the middle of fall. Good. So yeah, I might as well take you guys along. Uh, which means, you know, uh, I guess we'll just not starve together. Yeah, I'm sorry I did that. Sorry I did that too. Now, our first business priority is to get ourselves enough food to survive for the next couple of days. And we'll also need to get enough light to survive for the next couple of days, which means grass and wood. So those are our two priorities right now. And... Yeah. After that, then once we've, once we've gotten ourselves a couple days for supplies, we'll be able to go and think about more longer-term goals. For now, though, it's time to chop wood. This is something we will do quite often. Never have enough wood in this game. Also, it's time to get started on our organization. Unfortunately, these trees do not drop us pine cones, which is bad. We're going to need pine cones in the not-so-distant future. And I'd rather not chop those for the beach nut or birch nuts because those trees can hurt you. Can hurt you very badly. But this will at least get us enough wood to survive the night. Ah. That's more planes up here, that's good. Excellent. Got plenty of food here. Yeah, we got plenty of food here. That's good. It's a good start. Got a couple of arrows all around. Very nice. Could use another piece of flint though. And there it is. How are we doing for food? We got ten. That's not so bad. That'll, that'll survive us today and tomorrow. Could use a little bit more. Plus we got some nice grass. Really rather not attack these birch nuts yet. Not unless I've got armor. They will hurt you. Yeah, we're gonna need tons of this grass. Yeah, so when we start making our base, we're gonna want to start making food generation items, or excuse me, food generation structures. And they all, all the good ones, they take tons and tons of grass. Which means we're gonna want to plant our base next to a savanna for easy access to grass. We're also probably gonna want to set it down to a road so that we can get other areas quickly and efficiently. So, also wormholes would be nice too. In the event we cannot get them, though, a nice big savanna will suffice. Oh, hello. There's a stone area up there. That's actually where we're headed next. Because we need gold. All the good food uh, generating structures require a uh, require science. So we need to get gold so that we can get science. For now, we will go ahead. Those mole worms, sure. mole thingy, should be out right now. I forget exactly what they're called. I'll hang by them as soon as I've got all these things. Then we need to figure out a way to get up to that area. So the barrows should be around in here, I think. Oh, let me not. Ah, here we are. That's right, come on up. Oh. 
Like I couldn't, I could only get one. Too bad. So let's see what happens if we head around this area. I think this may lead us. I think we got enough food to survive while we go and get rocks. So let's head up in this area. And I got enough to get a rock. This will satisfy our flint problems too. Excellent. I think if we go up around here, this will lead us to that stony area I saw earlier. Ooh, that's a lot of bees nests. I'm gonna have to make a watch out for killer bees. I think I totally guessed this wrong. Yeah, I totally guessed this wrong. That's not leading us there at all. Let's take a look at the map. Uh, I guess... Yeah, I guess it must hook up around here. Like that. Okay. Well, let's see. We're going to have to sit down for the night soon. Is there anything interesting we can find before we sit down? Probably not, because this is a bee area. Okay. So, not a problem. All we got to do now, all we, we can do now is cook up our food. That's good, and we'll get four more. Yeah, this should... I, I got enough food for another two days. If I can find out how to get into that stony area, then yeah, I can survive up there. And I got enough wood to survive for a few more days as well. Stone is what I'm looking for. Stone and gold. Fireflies around in here. That's good. Are great for light sources. But first, we're going to need to get science. So we need the gold. Now, I usually like to put my first campfire, or you know, any of my campfires, around some things like trees or such, so I can chop them down during the night. You know, just give yourself something to do, something more interesting than just sitting there staring at that campfire button. There's no way I'm gonna chop down this thing. Those bees will hurt me. This game, pretty much anything is going to hurt you, unless until you get armor. I don't have armor because I don't have science. So yeah, let's get up to that rocky area. Starting now. Excellent. Got enough wood for now, so I will avoid chopping these lumpy trees. They don't give me the pine cones. I need the pine cones. I need to start a forest in my base. Once I make one. By the way, I only like to chop down trees that are at the highest level of growth. Like this one right here. Because he'll give two pine cones, while the other ones are only going to give one. It just seems more efficient. More efficient way to spend my spend my uh, tools. Let's see. I think this will probably let us go up there. Yeah. And if I see any uh, trees like this that are at the right age to cut, well, I'll go ahead and take them down too. Good. Now we're getting the pine cones. I'm gonna need, like, about, like, 24 pine cones to get all the charcoal I need for my first build. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to cut down quite a few trees. But hey, you know. No biggie. No biggie. I'm gonna need to chop them down anyway. You go through wood so fast in this game. You really do. Especially since this is fall, I'm going to be heading into winter. You need tons of wood in winter to keep warm. Heck, I'm going to need plenty of wood just to make science machine. They make my science machine, alchemy engine, and chests. 
S. This game is a bit grindy, I have to admit. But we're gonna need this wood, and this will keep us from having to go and get it for a while, which is good. We're gonna apply the same uh, the same mentality to stone too, by the way. We're gonna go and chop a whole bunch of stone so that we don't have to go get it again for a while. I find it's easier that way because you know you have to have to move, spend a lot of time moving about to get to your various different resources. Because, you know, resources. Right, is that savanna? Is that savanna or desert? Well. That's Savanna. Well, that's interesting. We're, we're definitely gonna need Savanna because we need the uh, we need the grass, and if we're lucky, it'll be the beefalo Savanna. That would be a little bit on the lucky side, so I'm not gonna count on that. Okay, one more tree, then we're good to go on uh, pine cones. The reason I need the pine cones is because I need to get charcoal, and I like to get my charcoal by planting my own trees. Because if I set fire here, that's going to be really uncontrolled and difficult to do. I don't want to burn down the entire forest. Just the trees I want to. Let's see here. Is there a way up? No, there's not. Hmm. So how do I get there? Oh, I have to cross over the savannah, of course. Hmm, the savannah may not be big enough to actually have support beefalo. Yeah, this may not be the beefalo savannah after all. Or... maybe it is. Huh. Okay, let's go and find some gold rocks. And yeah, whenever you see the biome shifting around constantly like this, there's going to be gold rocks around. It's not as good as, say, a mountain area, but it's enough for our purposes. Yep. Perfect. Why, hello? Oh, that's a lucky break. All right, I'm gonna do something. I usually do this during the night, but since I need the inventory space now. There we go. So I don't wanna put this, that miner's head is just too valuable. I don't want to use that yet. And I'm gonna definitely need these bones. So yeah, what I'll do is, I'll just come back to that, uh, I'll just come back to that science machine, and I'll use it to build my alchemy engine. Which is part of the reason that I needed all those, all that wood. Ah, excellent. Alright, I got the gold that I need. I'll just go ahead and get some more, though, because the stone's here. I'm, I'm at the stone. I should pick up a bunch while I'm at it, because it's going to take a while to get back here. Light. I'm going to put the light here. Let's see if I can mine this before night falls. And I can. I can mine these guys during night. Wait, I got a miner's hat. I don't need to make that campfire. Oh, actually, yeah, I do. I need to cook some food. Hmm. Okay. 
thinking... We should definitely, yeah, we're just gonna need more stuff. 30's not enough. I've got enough to survive on for another day. Miner's hat on. Let's find some more rocks. Man, this was a lucky find. Make another pickaxe and keep on going. Don't have nearly as much sight range, but you know, I, I got enough. Tall bird. Ah, uh, yeah, I need to run away from the tall bird now, very quickly, because that will hurt me. That will hurt me very much. Okay, let's find some other stones that I can use my pickaxe on. Yeah, right now I'm just looking to grind down my pickaxe. I figure I'll just go ahead and use up this pickaxe. That'll probably be enough stone. For now, yeah. And there's the there's my pickaxe. Let's see now, where did I leave my science machine? Right there. Now then, here's the trick that I used to help get me off to an early start. Got my science machine, and I used it to get my backpack, and I used it off my head. Okay, so now I can go and I can just go ahead and refine all these things that I'm going to need to make my alchemy engine. Like so. I go over here. I'm also going to need some electrical doodads. Hey there. Alchemy engine. Don't place it. So now... Oh, hey. There's a graveyard over there. Yeah, the graveyard's usually near this area, which is good. It's good to know where that is. But I can't really use it yet. So, let's see here. Let's go ahead and check out these savannas. I want to see if these savannas have any beefalo in them. If they do, we are setting up camp here. Hmm. Thinking they may not. They got plenty of rabbit holes, so that's good. gonna need more grass. In fact, yeah, I'm gonna take this time to start picking up this grass because I am definitely going to need that for my initial build. See, uh, it's not just enough to get the alchemy engine. I need the meat drying racks too. So yeah, we're gonna get that. We're gonna get those things up and going nice and fast. Man, that's a lot of rabbit holes. Good to see those. Always stay on top of your food. Alright. How are we doing in grass? I've only got 30. That's not a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more grass. Ooh, deciduous forest on the other side of the river. That's nice. Big King is quite often in a deciduous forest, so it's good to see that. Hmm. Okay. This is a pretty big savanna, after all. It's a good chance that the beefalo are in here. We're starting to amass, either way, we've started to amass a very nice amount of grass. Stuff we're also going to need. Oh. Road along that way. A bunch of the people are along that road. Yeah, 
Hey, piggy. go down this road. I want to see if I can find the beefalo along it. Oh. Yes. Yes. We have the beefalo. Excellent. Let's take a look at the map. I think we've found our base. Got the beefalo in this area. If I just put my uh, base look, in, around this area, perfect. Or maybe even close to the deciduous forest. Nah. I just want to get a little bit away from the people, though, so I don't have to worry about them invading season. Sweet! It's only day three, and we're almost getting ready to put in our trying racks. At least our initial trying racks. That's a lot of pig houses. That's a lot of pig houses. I want to check up here and see if the Pig King is also here. Aww. He's not. Oh well. Still, it's good to have a large number of pigs around. In the event that I need to turn... Uh, I need to turn some monster meat into regular meat. It's good to have those pigs around. How am I doing for grass? I still need more. Okay, I still need more grass. I may have to go ahead and make myself a shovel so that I will have, be able to make myself enough room to make a base. I should definitely pick up this manure. Oh, suspicious dirt piles. Huh? Huh. Well, that's interesting. I think I heard some spiders. That's good. Yep, I'll put it right here. And come morning, I will go ahead and hunt this creature. Cool. I think this would be a great place to call the episode. What do you guys say? Oh, I've been landed, and you've been watching Don't Star. I hope you all have been enjoying it as much as I enjoy playing. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.